So my second tip is about eating vegetables. Vegetables is something we all know we need to eat more of. Now, if you think about it, vegetables and fruit that I spoke about in my last lesson is where all the colors come from in our diet. But different vegetables have different properties. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower give us different food components compared with beetroot and onions and leeks. Some vegetables are really, really high in vitamin C, things like capsicum. Spinach contains a small amount of iron, but it's not as good a source as eating red meat. And things that are grown quickly, foods like sprouts, are very high in all sorts of vitamins. The difference can be the way you prepare these vegetables. Now, you can eat frozen vegetables and cook them quickly. You can eat fresh vegetables and use methods like steaming. Even microwave cooking helps preserve the vitamins that are in your foods. But one of the secrets that I use is actually slicing my vegetables just a little bit differently. You can take a peeler and peel all the way through your carrot, making ribbons. Toss that in the pan with some garlic and some olive oil and cook it down. As it's cooking, do the same with the peeler through a zucchini and toss those two vegetables together in a pan. It makes a really wonderful vegetable side dish. Foods like cauliflower can actually be roasted rather than steamed. I break the cauliflower into small florets, put it in a small baking tray and just use a small amount of spray oil or a little drizzle and wait till some small brown patches appear on the, the outer edges of the cauliflower. It's beautifully crisp and it doesn't need that heavy cheese white sauce. It's the colour that's in these vegetables that contains a lot of the food chemicals that we're seeing that are beneficial for health. Green vegetables, foods like your spinach, your Asian greens, the yellow orange range of vegetables like carrots, pumpkin, red vegetables like beetroots, tomatoes, capsicums, the purple blue range of vegetables, eggplants, perhaps red onion or red grapes, and then white vegetables, mushrooms, cauliflower, parsnips. All of these should be included in your diet. And isn't it wonderful that we can have such a range of colors to, to spice up our meal and give meals interest and different flavors.